Hey guys, welcome to our Schofield Barracks house tour. This has been our house for the past three years. It's located in Porter Community. And they have similar layouts to the other communities. You just have to see what they have available. So this is our front porch. It's a good size. We had a six seater there. So there's a good lot of space. Once you walk in the front door, you'll see the stairs to your left, which was probably my favorite part of the house. And then there's like a little nook area. Uh, we couldn't really put much there because there's a vent for the AC. So we just kept our dog's crate right there. To your right, there is a good size room. Most people use it as their dining room or a second living room or like a gaming area. My family used it as our kid's toy room, which I'll show you. Next, we have our living room. It's pretty spacious. I actually really enjoyed having a lot of room for my kids to just run around and go crazy. Here we just had our little coffee bar. Um, a lot of people use it for their computers or their gaming area. We just use it as a coffee bar. And then here's our kitchen. We have a good amount of cabinet space, which I really liked. And here's our pantry. I'm going more into detail in this video for those who are planning on PCSing here because I know I like to watch like 10 million YouTube videos before I go somewhere. Right off the kitchen, we had our laundry room. We had a washer and dryer hookup. We had a sink and then we had like a tiny little closet. I just use it to keep like my kids extra shoes in because it's not that big of a closet, but it's something. Back in the living room, we have a, a decent sized closet. I just use it to keep like, my vacuums and my mops in there. And then down the hall, we have a good sized closet. This is where I kept uh, most of Joseph's military gear because it is a, it is a very large closet actually. And then we have our half bath. So this is bathroom number one. This is another view of that little nook area I was telling you about at the beginning. And then heading up the stairs, we have um, a very dirty carpet because we didn't get to vacuum yet, so don't judge. So to your right, this is bedroom number one. We used this as my boy's bedroom. It was it was big enough to fit a queen size bed with a very large bed frame, um, an entertainment center, a five by seven rug, and a bunch of their toys. So it is a good size room, a standard closet. This room was overlooking one of the busier streets and it had a basketball court and a playground, which was very nice. Directly off of bedroom number one, we had our linen closet. And then we had bedroom number two. This room, we had, um, we started off as my kids' room and then we changed it into their classroom because I started to do homeschooling. Same thing as the other bedroom, just slightly larger. It has a standard closet. The view kind of sucks, all you see is the neighbor's house. So off of bedroom number two, we had bathroom number two. 
this was my kids bathroom or the bathroom that my family and friends would use whenever they would sleep over down the hall we have another very large closet this is also my husband joseph's closet um because he doesn't keep his clothes neat in his drawers so i kicked him out of the dresser and he now had to use those shelves for his clothes because it's just easier for him to just grab his clothes off of there right here is our master bedroom um it was a very good size we had a queen size bed most people have a king but we just had a queen we had a five by seven rug um very large dressers so that was able to all fit in there and had a lot of um, extra room here is our walk-in closet This is our master bathroom. It's pretty good size. Um, I don't know why they made the toilet open directly. I mean, the toilet. I don't know why they made the door open directly by the toilet. I thought that was pretty stupid, but I don't know. And don't mind the toilet. Joseph didn't come and scrub all the toilets yet, so. This is our view from our bedroom, which I loved waking up to every morning. You can overlook your garage and your parking space, which I'll show you later. So this is our backyard. We were able to fit a full-size trampoline. We had water slides, pools, um, all things like that. It just sucks because it was on a hill. And um, if you have dogs, you may have to put extra fancy because a lot of the areas do have a large space for the dogs to get out. Now this is our little patio area. Same size as the front of the house. This door is actually the door that we use the most because this is where our garage and our parking space is. This is our one car garage. We used it as our home gym. Um, most people use it as their home gym or like a storage unit because we do have a designated parking space right here outside of our garage. There's also parking spaces in the cul-de-sac or in the front of our house. This is our, where our trash and our recycle belongs. And yeah. This is the back of our house, which is actually used like the front of our house because we hardly ever use the front door because our parking spaces are back here. But yeah, thank you guys for coming to our Schofield Barracks house tour. We hope that the next family gets to enjoy this house just as much as we did.